As Gibson are developing their hollow body guitars, Gretsch, Fred Gretsch has come over from Germany and started a factory in Brooklyn, New York and making Gretsch guitars. Uh, they get an endorsement by the great Chad Atkins. This is known as the Chad Atkins beautiful orange guitar, the 6120. It's what I first uh, saw in American Bandstand, played by Eddie Cochran and Dwayne Eddy. Chad Atkins played it in this kind of... that kind of thing, which... very similar to what Scotty Moore's playing backing up Elvis. Eddie Cochran took it and did a song like this, uh, Come On Everybody. That's called a reverb, and it's got to be either putting your guitar in a oil drum or a tiled bathroom or a thing called a spring reverb where your sound travels along the spring. You how that lasts. But you put a tremolo on it. And the same guitar, I saw this on American Bands and Mr. Dwayne Eddy playing Rebel Rouser. <laughs> Contrary to what the shadows were playing, they were playing on the high strings when they're doing Apache. Dwayne Eddy plays on the low strings. They still have what's called a wang bar, or I call it a wang bar. Uh, this is made by Paul Bigsby, and it's the same thing. It raises or lowers the strings. <laughs> So Dwayne Eddy used to go like this. Now played by Brian Setzer. This is actually a Brian Setzer model guitar. It's the another guitar that's the basis of rock and roll and still continues to this day. Mm -hmm. 